Hello, it's Nico with food cravings and today we're making the high roller sandwich or if you're like me you just call them high rollers and I know you're wondering why it's spelled H-Y-E or why it's called high rollers because the word high in Armenian means Armenian or of Armenian descent and although this dish is very tasty and serves as a convenient snack for your parties very little is known as to how this dish actually came to be so as usual I did some digging and here's what I found sources say it was invented during the early 80s by a group of Armenians in central California but while others claim the dish to be of southern Californian origin either way you slice it the high roller sandwich is an iconic representation of Armenians in America and their legacy which has withstood the test of time if if you've watched my shish kebab sandwich video, you'll know that the same type of bread was used for this and that's lavash bread or lavash bread as it is properly pronounced. Now let's get into it. And here I've already started working on a few sandwiches as I was getting ready for a potluck. Here's my take on things. I started with some mustard and mayo followed by some kashkaval cheese. Next I added some ham and some seasoned turkey followed by some dry salami after that i hit it with some pickles thinly sliced of course and if you've watched my trotole pasta with pancetta and zucchini recipe that's where i cover some safety tips on how to use a mandolin properly and here's a pro tip you'll want to make sure you overlap your deli meats and toppings such as lettuce tomato pickles onions whatever else you'd like adding to the sandwich once it's overlapped that'll help you roll the sandwich tighter after all who wants a loosely packed sandwich? I mean, come on, it's a high roller. After everything was neatly packed, it was time to, well, you know, roll out. So that's just what I did. And here's a pro tip. Since your cuts have to be flawless for this, you'll want to use a very sharp knife. But first, I was on a quest for a drizzle and came back with some mustard. This will help seal the ends. As I continued to roll, shortly thereafter, I gave it a series of swift cuts and for this I used my carving knife because I found that this worked best after sectioning off the sandwich like I did here. I remembered I need to give you guys another pro tip. When cutting into the sandwich make sure to hold it down gently using your fingers from one hand as you cut with the other. And after cutting what you'll be left with is a nice looking center. Just look how gorgeous that looks. And right around this time you'll want to prepare your platter along with some saran wrap to place it in. This needs to be refrigerated for at least an hour or two before consuming so that everything can come together. And by now I couldn't resist so it was time to go in for a taste. The combination of the soft bread along with savory meats and delicious cheese and that crunch from the pickle made for a killer combo that can't be beat. And here I was finishing up making the second one as I gently cut it. And no matter what combination of meats and cheeses you use, by now I was convinced that this was the best recipe for high rollers ever. And for those of you who might be thinking you can get away with using pita bread for this or naan bread, forget about it because there's nothing like lavash bread after all, it's Armenian. Here I was unwrapping the first batch I had made so that I can go in for a taste and I did so using my trusty hands. As I pulled back the plastic wrap, I could feel the anticipation building. I mean, this wasn't your average sandwich. Considering it was made on a certain type of bread most of you hadn't heard of before, let alone knew how to pronounce until now. And here I took one out after having it sit in the refrigerator for a while. As suggested, I wanted to show you guys how it looked after it's been given a chance to come together. Man, they look so good. And that's... Chef Nico style. I hope you've enjoyed my recipe for high roller sandwich, also known as high rollers. Now you can dazzle your family and friends with this delicious new recipe. For ingredient amounts and more info, please visit www.chefnico.blogspot.com. Bon appetit, enjoy, and see you in the next recipe. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe.